Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer Thomason. Here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers and build custom software solutions. I do a lot of work as a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and a solid 25 years in software development, I've mastered the art of transforming technology teams and products. So today we're diving into a pretty advanced topic, how to edit and tweak some of the compilers and settings used for compiling.net. So let's dive in. All right, so let's dive in a little bit and start talking uh, and dig through some of these uh, these slides that we've got here, and then we'll dig into uh, the code examples, because as always, we have lots of code samples, so make sure you download the code samples down below. We have a link down below. There are free uh, code samples that go with all of our, um, with all of these coding videos. So um, we're going to dive into this groundbreaking features in .NET 9 that can revolutionize your ASP.NET core applications. And we're going to dive into what the Roslyn compiler is and kind of the purpose of it. So Roslyn is a set of open source compilers and code analysis APIs for, a for C Sharp and Visual Basic. I don't know if anybody uses, still uses Visual Basic, but if there's two of you out there in the world, hopefully you're listening. Uh, its main goal is to provide rich code analysis and pro powerful code refactoring capabilities. Unlike traditional compilers that are black boxes, Roslyn exposes the compiler as a service. This means that developers can interact with the compilation process, enabling more dynamic and responsive development environment. Now, Roslyn analyze, uh, analyzers are tools that inspect your code for issues, style guidelines, and potential improvements. They run during the compile time, giving you an immediate feedback on your uh, code quality. Analyzers help maintain consistency and enforce best practices across your code base. They're especially useful in large teams where coding standards uh, need to be upheld. So being able to build in and enforce these code standards is a huge thing. Now, you can also create custom analyzers, and with Roslyn, uh, it, creating these analyzers is really straightforward and immensely powerful. You can define rules specific to your project's needs, ensure that your code adheres to unique standards, uh, lots of different use cases for it. So the process involves writing a class that inherits from diagnostic analyzers, and we're going to show you here in just a second, um, and implements the anal analysis logic. Custom analyzers can automate code reviews and catch issues early in the development cycle. Now, integrating Roslyn analyzers into your workflow is really simple and beneficial. You can add them as NuGet packages to your project, making them easy to distribute and manage. Once integrated, these analyzers will run automatically during builds, providing immediate feedback. This seamless integration helps maintain high code quality without additional manual effort. Now, the benefits of using uh, Roslyn analyzers extend beyond just catching bugs. You promote cleaner, more maintainable code, which makes every developer and project manager out there happy, and enforce coding standards and best practices. So analyzers also enhance team productivity by reducing the time spent on code reviews and debugging. Ultimately, they contribute to delivering more reliable and robust software products. All right, so as always, let's dive into our code samples here. All right, so we got our Visual Studio and we downloaded the code samples, and you should too if you haven't, go and download them right now because there's hundreds of code samples. And if you even look on that link there, you'll actually see that there's even more hundreds of code samples. Um, so I'll drag uh, this code sample over here, right? So you'll see uh, not only is there just this code sample, you can see that I'm really not lying when I say there's hundreds of code samples out here. All these videos that I do projects on, we put them out here. And what's even better than that, we give you the first, right? This is our new code repo. This was the old code repo. So there's even more samples out there. So many code samples. If you haven't taken advantage of these, definitely do. All right, anyways, back to the code. So um, we're going to dive in and work here on how you can integrate uh, these Roslyn code analyzers into your, uh, into your projects. And so... Um, Okay, so for this example, let's consider a class name Reflection, right? So we have the class name Reflection, and obviously you're not going to write you know, multiple classes into one file like this, but bear with me here, folks. We're just doing this for a code sample, right? So we have one code, uh, one class name Reflection, right? And then when using the Roslyn Diagnostics um, analyzers, you'll encounter a warning indicating the Reflection is not part of the declared API. So let's take a look here. So you can see when I hover over this, right, you can see that it, it's not currently listed there. So now 
we can see that the net, so we want to consider a scenario where we frequently check the existence of an element within a loop, right? And so Microsoft.CodeAnalysis.Net Analyzers, right? That's this one here. This is the example for that. Um, sim suggests a simplify collection initialization, right? So now by enhancing the code quality, we can go into the editor, the edit config, right? So if we go into here, we can take a look at this guy here. Now, the files in this are going to open up in Visual Studio, so you sometimes have to open these up into a text editor. Now, dot, dot .NET um, actually generates these for you, but if you go into these, you can actually look that you can start to modify uh, what you want these different things to do. So this is the way that you can make changes to uh, use different severity levels. So let's say that you... Uh, you know, want to insert a space with parentheses as a typecast, right? Like you can enforce that and set the various levels of the warning, right? So you can actually say, hey, do this or, uh, you know, and set then the various warnings into this. So this allows you to define the rules and the severity uh, in your project here, right? So um, these are just a few of the examples that we have here for how you can use the Rosalind Code in the Analyzer. And overall, the analyzers are really a powerful tool for maintaining high quality code in your .NET application. By integrating these analyzers, you can um, continue to work uh, and build a better, uh, a more, to, by integrating these analyzers into development workflow, teams can detect and address issues early and lead to more robust and maintainable code bases. So, as always, what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think that I missed something? I always love to get comments, so make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And I love having a good, healthy discussion. Here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers in our coding boot camps and to build custom software solutions. So reach out. We'd love to help. Hit the links down below and check out startuphack.com today. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because we bring you lots of great tutorials and tips that every developer should know. See you next time.